and we are back to my channel so today i'm very pumped because i'm gonna show you with you guys like my favorite thing to do which is just dye my hair a bunch of random colors and i decided that anytime i just dye my hair i'm gonna start recording it just because every time i dye my hair the process is like a little bit more different like the way i apply the dye is obviously the exact freaking same but the way i bleach it and how i do everything is completely different so i thought i would start like telling you guys exactly how i do everything just so you guys get like a better understanding of of how I do it because a lot of people do ask me like how I dye my hair how I bleach it da, 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 da. how do I get it that color how does it stay like how does it the color stay and all of that so today I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm gonna do it because we're gonna dye my hair today <laughs> blue okay we're gonna go back to the blue that I used to have like I think it's like eight months ago now like it could be like well over a year it has been a year now oh my god because I had pink hair like last Valentine's Day so yeah it's been definitely a year but I'm gonna start blobbering and we're just gonna get to it. I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna dye this hair. <laughs> with the most obvious thing clearly i dyed my roots if you guys watched my last video on how i dyed my hair hot pink my roots are obviously dyed a little bit more different this time last time i did a whole balayage thing this time i actually just straight bleached my roots and the reason why i did the balayage last time was because i wanted to give my roots a little bit more time to grow out so my hair is gets a little bit more healthier because previously when I kept going to the salon it was like starting to get mushy and gross and just not cute and I'm like I need to let my hair breathe so I did that and I went back in and I was like screw it let's go all blonde again now keep in mind every time I dye my roots blonde the outcome is literally never the same sometimes it gets really yellow and like ugly orange tones and we have to sit there and then we have to go in again to kind of get it a little bit more lighter this time this took one try as you can tell we have like a lot of white spots but we also do have like a little bit of the yellow which i feel like could easily be um changed if i toned my hair or if i did any type of purple shampoo i would have like the most perfect blonde like i think this is like some of the best not some of the best but like how fast it went like the process of me dyeing my roots it was like under two like under two hours it was like like not even an hour okay it was like an hour and like 20 minutes it was really fast like that's what i'm saying and it usually never takes that fast so um that's what i did i went to the salon and i got my hair dyed so we did all that and i never care about the orange tones or yellow tones just as long as it's a nice blonde because I go over it with color like the next day or I will tend to tone it by myself just because I I'm indecisive with my hair color. So as you can tell we have this nice pink going on and just this kind of weird orange gap thing and I was going to do hot pink but then I decided I've been doing hot pink for so long. Like guys I've been doing hot pink for like three years okay but I've been doing it on and off but pink has been something that I've just stuck to but since I haven't done blue in well over a year i'm like you know what it's time to go back to blue but obviously it's not going to be full blue because i have this pink in my hair so i was like mm, this is going to be interesting so i picked up my favorite hair color in the world i talked about this in my last video this is the one and only argan oil perfect intensity and this is the only hair dye that i use when i use uh hot pinks or anything like that any bright colors i always use this if i'm feeling a little bit different i'll use the this is not the one and only it's the color ion i'll mix the color ion with this sometimes but today i decided to stick to argan oil and the reason why this is my favorite brand is because first off one tube goes a long way and when it squirts out it's very liquidy because we like liquidy but uh, yeah obviously it's because it has like the argan oil infused in it and after i put the hair dye in my hair and i get out of the shower my hair is just so soft and this color for me lasts the longest like this brand is the one that lasts the longest for me and i don't know if it's because i wash my hair like once a week or because my hair is like pretty much white under here that it sticks i've washed my hair so many times and look like the pink is still in my hair like it just does not want to get out and it's from this brand and plus my hair is like white underneath so it like stained my hair permanently and this that's what we're going to use this by the way if you guys are curious is going to be in the color electric teal so what i'm hoping this is going to do this is actually the same exact color that i used last time i dyed my hair blue i'll insert some pictures so you guys get an idea of what it looked like but I was like, hmm, I want to try something different, so I'm going to use this, and hopefully, hopefully, cross my fingers, this color is going to be, like, on top of my roots, but then it's going to nicely fade into, like, 
a nice purplish type of tint and if you guys know me i actually kind of hate purple hair like i don't know what it is that's the one color that i've always refused to do lavenders i love i love doing any of those colors like really pale pastels but just straight purple i'm just kind of like Mm, i've never actually really done purple like i'm not gonna lie like a straight deep purple except when i was in like i don't know sophomore year i tried to do like the fake purple hair if you guys know what i'm talking about where it has like the purple tint so that's the only thing that i've done but we're gonna see how it goes i'm hoping it doesn't turn too purple but obviously with the blue and pink it's, it's gonna do a little something but the reason why i'm doing blue is because i want to eventually transform my hair into a lavender so this is gonna hopefully fade into a nice purple so i can start basing it with a nice lavender coat and i want to have like the whole lavender hair and i did that before too so i'll insert a picture i've done like everything it's a little crazy but end of blabbering let's just get into the process of me dyeing my hair and applying it and we're gonna see how it looks like and then again i just get these bowls from sally's but do you see that like how liquidy it comes out oh, yes and then this is how much is in one little bottle so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the blue just using that one bottle and depending like how much of it i use then we'll go in with the second bottle but i just want to show you guys how much one bottle covers my hair and as you can see my hair is like paper thin and because we got to get the setup going we have some uh, crackers wine and in the fro <sighs> the only way to dye hair so let's start <sighs> By the way, when we paint the roots or color the roots, we use this little brush just because you waste less product doing that way, if that makes sense. And then once we actually reach the long parts, that's when we just use the hand. And my mom does my hair. Because anytime I do my own hair with vivid colors, I miss a bunch of spots and it just never looks cute. I cannot do my own hair. I have to have people do it for me, but I can bleach my own hair. I just can't actually color it so surprisingly the ends are actually not turning purple so i'm very curious to see where this is going this is how much one tube filled so as you can see we've only just got a little bit more spots so i'm gonna just put out like the least amount last time i think i used like a tube and a half and at least in a lot of product so i took it one by one and as you can see like surprisingly it's not even turning purple my hair is weirdly a natural color right now, so I'm not gonna lie. This is nothing how I expected my hair to be for the past, like, I don't even know. Two and a half years, three years, I've always had crazy hair. And this is the least crazy I think that I've ever had. Like, even when I did my gray, my gray was even a little bit crazy because gray is kind of a natural. But this looks like my hair is black with a blue tint. Like, this, no lie, looks like how my hair is when I first started dyeing my hair because if any of you guys know um if you know me or anything like that when i first started dyeing my hair it was actually black and blue but it was like half black half dark blue and this looks like exactly it i am obsessed with it i'm like it's it i'm like stuttering right now because it's so weird to see me with dark hair right now i'm kind of like whoa but obviously this isn't gonna last once this fades I already know that when it fades it's gonna be pretty ugly because right here so this is where the pink pieces were and as you can tell this is where it's the darkest blue and I think after two washes it's gonna start turning purple that's just how it's gonna be I can already tell but I think I'm just gonna keep going over with this color because that's how obsessed I am with it like I'm in love with this color but yeah it turned like green blue and a dark blue like very mermaid absolutely nothing how it was last time I used this color again you guys saw my hair I think it was because my hair is pink that it just grabbed all these colors and it's crazy so if you guys are ever wanting to get this type of mermaid the hair this is how I got it I don't even know I'm obsessed I'm at loss of words and yeah I think that is pretty much it on how I dye my hair blue dark blue at this point because I thought it was gonna be neon blue but it's all right we'll roll with it I think once it starts to fade out I don't think it's going to be cute, guys. It's going to be doing some weird green, blue, purple, definitely purple right here. Just watch. It's not going to be, it's not going to stay this good for, uh, for, you know, for a long time. 
not a long time it's not gonna stay good for a long time i don't even know what i'm talking about but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys got a little insight on how i do my hair and all of that and please like subscribe do all of that and i will see you guys in my next video bye